Uh, Revulsion is now uh, officially uh, 999. Um, it was suggested a couple of times that the price, you know, that the price would be best if it was it, you know, if it was lower. And you know, I'm totally fine with making it 999. I just, I actually worried that there would be, you know, like um, problems where people would assume that, like, well, the game is super cheap, so I wouldn't bother with it and stuff like that. Like, it could have like the actual negative effect, like. Whereas, you know, having the higher price might make somebody think, oh, well, maybe there's more to the game. There's actually a lot to Revulsion, and um, it's not just a simple uh, shooter and stuff like that. That, uh, you know, there is actually, you know, RPG elements for a classic shooter. It's actually, it's it's a heftier game than it might look like once you, you know, when you just look at the screenshots and stuff like that. So, uh, this month I'm planning to redo this, I'm replanning to do the trailer, I'm replan I'm, I'm gonna get rid of this, uh, thing here, just showing gameplay, and I might actually have, like, a video showing off the, the level editor, the multiplayer in-game level editor, by the way, um, uh, that I wanna have later in the month. So this isn't gonna happen until around the 15th and everything like that. So this is actually pretty good, uh, I was actually kinda surprised that the price change went through so quickly, but, you know, um... It's all good and everything like that. Uh, there was one bit of feedback here. It says, thank you. I, hope, uh, I guess I hope you picked the game up. I mean, at this point in time, like for nine ninety nine, you're getting more than... Um, let's see. If it's a dollar an hour, you're getting more for your bang for your buck. It, it, a lot of people on the reviews and stuff like that said that the game was... You know, it took them about 12 hours to play, something like that. You know, it's like within the the the, the, the 12, you know, the 10 to 12 hour uh, range. So that means that Revulsion is now a value proposition where you're getting more, you know, more than an a little bit more than an hour per uh, dollar uh, of your of your uh, you know purchase, which I think that's actually pretty good. I think that's uh that's a uh, really good. Now, once I get the level editor and stuff like that in place, and I actually have you know this uh, functional stuff going on where you can actually make new maps for it and it can actually have like you know custom levels and stuff. That's a really that's a really cool thing. And then the custom you know the level editor will also have like uh, the ability to work with other people at the same time. And Right now, uh, right now, I'm working on getting the uh, lighting system in place, and I was going, I was going to get more done. I was going to get more done uh, last night, but I ended up just uh, doing a stream, just playing Overwatch. <laughs> um, I could probably uh, tonight. I'm probably just going to end up focusing on and doing like a really chill stream. Where all I'm doing is just uh, is just working and listening to music and keeping it real, you know, real clo really low key and make sure that I get the lighting system into place as it should be, um, so that it's actually possible to like properly light the levels as well as uh, place you know spawn points and and things of that nature. I want to try and get. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I I need to get the editor as far along as possible because I want that to be part of the value proposition uh for the uh the, f the patch on the 15th and you know make it so that you can actually place like you know bad guys and you know uh get some lighting in and and um at least you know with the uh the boxy you know the uh, prototype um uh stuff in place and then in which case I'll actually have some time lapse videos and I'll do some live streams of me actually working on maps for the game where you know there'll be like fine key open door gameplay and and things of that nature and actually have you, you know what I mean like you'll actually be able to see me uh, building levels using the level editor um, and even maybe uh, maybe even have other people come in and like you know discussing like oh okay maybe this hallway should lead into a room like this and like a lot of level design like game design type stuff going on that is uh, pretty unique because I don't think that's something that usually really happens unless you're watching like a Minecraft video where people are talking about some super project that they want to build and stuff like that and I'm kind of hoping I, I can kind of tap into uh, that a little bit with this uh, going in that kind of direction where you know the, the streams of me working are actually almost just as fun as watching somebody play the game Anyway, yeah. Uh, so that's all. Uh, that's all coming along, and things are uh, uh, moving along at a decent pace at the moment, right now. 
Um, there's, uh, let's see. I was actually thinking that uh, over the weekend I might check out some other games, not just uh, Revulsion. I was recently sold on checking out this uh, Neos uh, game, I, so I might I might do a live stream over the weekend or early early next week where I'm checking this out. I'm definitely going to do a playthrough of Project Warlock as soon as I can. Um, I I'm, I'm going to probably grab. I mean. Paranautic, paranautical activity, like, seems like it's damn near similar in so many ways to what Revulsion is. Just looking at it, like, it's more, it's much more, um, it's much more voxel-y, though, and I'm trying to get away from the voxel stuff, but, like, this game, this game looks like, it, you know, it's, like, full-blown into the voxel direction, you know? Um... That could actually be kind of fun to check out. And it's actually selling for the same exact price. Um, that could be kind of a fun uh, game to check out. I know that there's like Dusk and Strafe. And I think they're kind of, you know, they've been played and, and stuff like that a, a lot already. But I'm definitely going to be looking for more games along this line. There's another one called, um, what is it, uh, Doom Reaper or something like that? Uh, BZ Plasma mentioned it. And I'll probably uh, check that out as well. But uh, yeah, so uh, Revulsion is now 9.99, and I'm not really planning on changing that for a while. Um, that's a that's a really good deal, especially since I'm now going to be having the level editor and everything like that. And then later this month, I'm going to redo all the screenshots and everything. Okay, now I'm repeating myself though. So uh, with that said, um, let's see. Uh, there's not a whole lot else to talk about at the moment. Um, the level editor's progress right now. Uh, I'm just getting like a lot of the infrastructure in place for being able to get lighting. Now, this is just a light that um, I manually placed in the map. That you know that that's something that I can actually manipulate in the world. Um, so if I switch in, you see if like if I'm in actor mode, I can't do anything with the light because the light's just sitting there. Um, so, like, I can place a zombie security guard over here, right? And that's the, that's the zombie with the handgun, the pistol zombie. And, like, you know, I can, I have that, and then I can change, I can change all of the, the variables for this. Now, uh, with the light, uh, the variables that you'll be able to change, so if I switch into this, I have to, I have to create the, you know, the little window here for the... It'll be the color, the range, there'll be spotlights, there'll be the ability to place a, a sunlight. Um, you'll be able to place like stuff like that, and then you'll also be able to toggle them on or off using the target and target name uh, functionality that I want to have, so that you can actually make it so that the light, the light will actually uh, turn off depending on, you, you know what I mean? Like so, you can have a you can have a room with a bunch of uh, uh, what is it? Uh, trigger relays with, with different delays and then like the room can like you know these lights can light up this light can light up and it can kind of happen in order and then a bunch of monsters can spawn and you know what i mean like like it could be like a dark hallway and lights can turn on and off and stuff like that and then you know there'll be uh there'll be sound entities that work the same way so i'm, I'm really copying a lot of the old scripting uh, methods that have existed in very old games like the first Half-Life or Quake 1 and Doom and stuff like that where well I mean Doom didn't even have scripting like this until later on now it's all just uh, C sharp so um, yeah like I'm doing that same sort of thing where you know you'll have like a multi-manager maybe not even trigger relay I might even bother with that I might just go straight for a multi-manager just like Half-Life so, uh, yeah, that's about where I am at the moment right now. Uh, it's uh, it's going to be a pretty chill stream tonight. It's going to be just me working. Uh, I'll, I'll post a link to the, uh, to the stream uh, link, you know, in the description and everything like that. If you want to come in and check it out, uh, I'll probably be, uh, cross, you know, cross-streaming on my YouTube as well. So uh, there'll be that. And... Uh, 
there you go. Uh, with that said, I think that that's pretty much everything. I mean, there's probably a lot of other stuff too, but I think I've covered, I've covered pretty much the, the, the brunt of it. I really, really seriously don't think that there's going to be another shooter selling for $9.99 that's going to have a full-blown level editor like this. Now, I mean, this isn't just a regular level editor. This is a level editor that's designed by somebody who's been using level editors pretty much more, you know, more than half of his entire life. And, you know what I mean? Like, I've been using level editors since the first Doom in 1993 and shit. Like, I've been, I've been, you know, doing this for a really long time. So I kind of, I kind of have, like, an insight on, like, what makes, like, a, for an easier experience when it comes to, like, just building stuff. And, and what would it, you know, what would be the most ideal in, when it comes in terms to uh, be able to actually have, like, um, you know, a, a better, like, end user experience where it's more fun to build and everything like that. When you're getting the first revulsion, you're not just getting, you, you know, you're not just paying nine ninety nine for a game that, you know, takes more than 10 hours to beat, uh, but you're also... Um, you're also investing into uh, future projects that are going to provide way more value, even more value than anything before. So I don't know how else I can really sell it beyond that. Like, I mean, it's going to just be interesting to, you know, to see how things turn out with the level editor and everything like that. Because, I mean, if even if nobody else on the planet uses the level editor but me, it's still going to be really awesome to have, like, the social experience while I'm working on the game to actually have, like, you know, the ability to test things and, uh, you know, and, and interact with the enemies while I'm still in the game. Like, I don't even have to load up the Unreal 4 level editor. All I need to do is just load up the game, you know, uh, and, and just, like, and just go. <laughs> and just make sure I click save every time I make a change. And uh, there you go. Like, I mean, there's some drawbacks. Like, it's a little bit more annoying to try and do like an undo feature if it's a multiplayer environment because something that I undo, you know, somebody else might have done. So that might make the undo stack really unruly and stuff like that. But like a lot of the time, like if you look at Minecraft and stuff, Minecraft doesn't have an undo feature. So you know what I mean? Like, if you fuck something up, you just gotta fix it. And since everything's on Rails, everything's a lot more simplistic to actually do, it's not really that out of the question that it would be that hard to just redo something if you accidentally delete something. And that's definitely gonna be something that comes up, though. Um, I'll try and figure out how to uh, make systems that, uh, you know, keep that st sort of, exp you know, th those kinds of mistakes from being too damaging and too you know, too much of a waste of time. But uh, most of the time, I think, you know, if you're working with people who are competent and they're not, and they're not, uh, you know, trolling, uh, you shouldn't have too many bad experiences with people accidentally doing shit like that. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it won't. Maybe you'll be trying to delete, like, an object over here out on the uh, terrain. This is probably the worst case scenario is you're here and you have... Like you want to delete this barrel, right? And then you accidentally select the terrain underneath, and then you click delete. <laughs> yeah, shit. That, that that would really suck. Um, so with that said, I don't know. Uh, there's definitely a lot of room to grow with all of this stuff. There's definitely a lot of room to grow. Um, but it, with that said, though, this is also, like, yeah. Eh, there's not much else to really say. So the uh, game actually has already uh, sold uh, a bunch now. Not, not like a huge amount, but like, you know, a couple copies here, a couple copies there already now that it's nine ninety nine, It's really a good deal at that price, though. Jesus. Anyway, uh, yep, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end the video. Uh, see you guys tomorrow because I'm doing a daily vlog now. <laughs> Oh, and this. Uh, one second. Uh, the new game level not loading properly. Update starting in game level. It, it seems like you're just not getting the whole game. Like something's going on. Uh, yes. What the hell? I've tried that already. Even uninstalled, reinstalled, verified again. The game download shows about 687 megabytes. There's no way it's 687 megabytes on Steam. 
in the Steam app's common folder, the game is 2 gigabyte. Not sure if it has anything to do with it. I haven't changed anything. Other people are able to play the game. I don't understand what the hell is going on. This doesn't make any sense. Um, what? I don't know. I'll check into this, but, like, I think so far this is the only person who's complaining about it. Um, unless something's changed, I'm not really sure. Alright, well, okay, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end the video, but I am absolutely confused by this. I have no idea what's going on with that.